the best items at Walmart are in this video, sis. Hey, you're in the right place. Keep on watching. <laughs> Hi Queens. Today's video, as the title says, is going to be a Walmart haul. So I'm actually combining two hauls. <laughs> I filmed this video the first time and then I saw some more goodies. So I was like, you know what? Let's make us a little, a little, a substantial Walmart haul. I have spent hours perusing, okay? And I have got all of the tea for you in this video. I'm super excited to share. Um, if you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, then you're in the right place. Well, let's get into this video. All right, it's, are y'all shopping for shorts yet? I always start thinking about white jeans and shorts super early in the season, just because those are two pieces that I always have the hardest time finding. In this haul, I have some shorts and I have some white jeans. <laughs> okay, so I picked up these shorts in a size 18 because the size 20 was sold out. I always size up in my shorts just because I have hips, I have a butt, and they don't typically cut these things for people like me. Um, and I really wanted this to fit like boyfriend style, like it fits the model, and unfortunately it does not. <laughs> so let me know in the comments your thoughts on this one. Like, would you keep this, would you not? I really, feel like that um, sort of like boyfriend style, style of Bermuda is very chic, very on trend, very now, versus like the tighter version. But I do like the details on it. I feel like the, they did a good job with the wash. I feel like they did a good job with the distressing and even the weight, like I was expecting it to be like super flimsy and like super stretchy, but actually it's not. It has that good denim stretch and I'm gonna give Walmart a high five for nailing that, good for them. Um, so I love, 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 love that about it. Um, I, like I said, I got this in a size 18. It's a standard style, so pockets in the back, pockets in the front, it's a five pocket style zip up closure. Um, and then it does have some fraying around the edges. So the next item I got is going to be this midi, actually I would say this is a maxi dress. Um, I'm 5'7 for reference, so this is somewhere in between a midi and a maxi on me. And I honestly didn't pay this dress any mind until I saw a fellow creator stylist, and I believe I, I have their saw it on, I'm not sure if I saw it on the Like To Know It app or on Walmart's website, but I will say that one of the things I love about the Like To Know It app is that, you know, when I'm looking for inspiration, I know I can find it there, tons of outfit ideas. When I'm looking for deals, sale alerts, all that good stuff, I can find it there. If you are not on Like To Know It, sis, that's where I post all of my outfits for you to shop. I will be sure to put a link to it in the description box down below so you can check it out. But I, this, I just love this print. Let me just say that I give this dress an eight and a half, almost nine. I love how lightweight it is. It's an easy summer dress. It's not, there's nothing tight about it. It's just super easy, super flowy. It has some smocking. Um, I love the puff sleeves and all of that detail. It has a keyhole in the back. Just, there's no, like, there's just nothing not to love about this dress. I love the weight of it, quality of it everything. If I were to keep one item in this entire haul, it would probably be that dress. And because it's neutral, you can pretty much style it with like so many different things. Um, you, I'm actually doing a video or a reel on three ways to style it just to show you like the versatility. You can wear it now, you can wear it all the way into summer and vice versa must have and i'm gonna put a link to it down below. For size reference, I got it in a size extra extra large and I would say if it's true to size. Let's just say, I would say that. This item I have for you guys is going to be this a pastel purple lavender sweater. I actually randomly stumbled upon it when I was looking at another item. One of the girls had styled the orange version of this sweater um, with a midi skirt that I'll show you guys in a little bit. And 
I didn't need the orange one, but I felt like I needed this purple one. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Um, it's, you know, the ruffles on the shoulders for me, the style of the sleeve. I always love like a full sleeve and then it kind of cinches in um, around the cuff. It's so dainty and sweet and just perfect and screams spring. I would say it's a medium weight sweater, so you could definitely wear this now because it does have some substance to it. It's not like the lightest sweater, but it's not also the heaviest sweater. I also really liked the square neckline. It really helps to highlight the ruffles on the on the sleeve. And when it comes to execution, I would definitely give this like a seven and a half, eight. I got this in a size 2XL, and that's what I typically wear at Walmart. And yeah, if it's true to size. You can pair this with some jeans or you can pair this with a midi skirt or you can pair this with some shorts. Like really it's a versatile piece that you can wear and it's a nice sort of like elevated sweater. You know, it's not just like your typical sweater. All those little details, you know, just adds a little bit more to the piece. Um, I checked the washing instructions and it does say it's, you can machine wash it in cold. So definitely an easy item to take care of. Of. So the next item is going to be this midi skirt. So as I said, I loved the way the um, blogger styled this on Walmart. She had on an orange top with the skirt and it really just picked out all the fun colors in the skirt, you know, florals for spring, <laughs> groundbreaking. Anyways, but just, I love the colorway of the um, flowers on this. You got some orange, some yellow, some what looks like navy or black purple so you can really wear this with a lot of things and i think they have this in a dress and i think they might have this in a top as well so this is a very versatile print now i got this in a size a um, extra extra large no actually a size 18 and i would say that in my opinion if you're in between sizes you should size up on this this runs a little small but again i may have just had you know one too many ice cream sandwiches but <laughs> You know, I feel like the items that I've received from Scoop and from like the Sophia Vergara line tend to run a little bit smaller, whereas the items that I've received from the Free Assembly and um, from the Time and True brand at Walmart tend to run a little bit more generous. I won't, I'm not going to say true to size because... I just, I don't feel comfortably saying that that size is true to size. I'm just saying this runs a little bit smaller. So if you're used to Walmart sizing, this runs a little bit smaller than typical Walmart. It's a pretty lightweight skirt. Um, it does not have any lining. You can even dress it up for date night with like a cute tank top or a crop top. Um, I think this is a great piece for my pear shaped girls. I love the slit. Um, just, you know, as a little bit of sex appeal, but it is a midi, so it's like, still modest all at the same time so yeah love this love love this print we'll link this for you guys down below now the next item is going to be some jeans okay some jeans i told y'all i always look for jeans <laughs> white jeans and i always look for shorts white jeans are a must-have let me say that again must have for spring and summer and this year i'm really trying to stay away from the skinny jeans like i have you know, my, you know, go-to skinny jean style. So I'm really exploring um, straight jeans and like wide leg style jeans. So when I saw this style on the website, I was like, okay, add to cart. Now I got this in a size 18 and size 20. As Soon as I put on the size 20, I was like, okay, I know size 18 would not look this good. <laughs> and so I grabbed it. So some of the details are, that I really like about this, of course, is that it has um, really like artfully placed distressing around the pockets. It has some distressing or frayed edges as well around the cuff. And then I really like that the fact that they use sort of like a tan slash gold thread on these jeans. So, Cause you know, sometimes you buy some jeans and the thread, white jeans and the thread kind of it just does too much um, for the jeans. It kind of takes away from it, not in the case. I also like the fact that this isn't a pure white. This is kind of like an off white. And if you're like a darker skinned um, girl like myself, this is the color to go for because the lighter jeans tend to just look kind of weird. I don't know. To, the best way to describe it is that they don't tend to look as good. So I would go for an off white hair because they're less opaque that's the word i'm going for um and so this kind of takes all the boxes there it's a five pocket style also and then it's a zipper closure and then it has a little 
tab slash button. Now, that's all the details. When it comes to fit, I'm just not sure about this pair on me personally. You guys can see, let me know your thoughts. Is she a keeper? Is she a returner? I just have the hardest time finding um, white jeans just because, you know, I have a little bit of a fupa going on. I feel like this is just highlighting my fupa in all kinds of ways that I don't need it to be highlighted. But let me know in the comments what you think. Is this a CA? Is this an A? Or should I return this? But aside from that, if you're looking for a white jean, I think if you're on the pair side, this would be a great pair of jeans or like an hourglass. I think this would be a great pair of jeans to try definitely sides up. Now one of the new in spring pieces that caught my eye is this lavender dress. Lavender is definitely having a moment this season but I really loved like the um color combination. So we have a lavender like a bluish purple and then this hot 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 tangerine color um happening in the print. This has like um puff sleeves. It is a midi dress. It has kind of like a handkerchief hem, which if I'm being honest, it's not my favorite. It's, it's really not. But it also has this little cinching detail around the waist. This dress will be super flattering on different body types just because of the shape around the waist. It's loose, it's slouchy, very, very on trend for this season. And the color just makes you happy, right? Like it just, the color of the print just makes you happy. This is pretty lightweight, so it will serve you from spring right into the summer. Pair it with um, sneakers if you like to run errands. You can pair it with some cute wrap sandals. Um, you can pair it with some espadrilles. So you can do a lot with this. If you have like a more casual wedding to go to, you could totally throw this on as well. So I think that if you were looking or in the market for a dress, this could definitely be a contender. Now this next dress I actually bought in two styles. I don't know if you can see, this is one style, this is the other style. Um, this hot pink really caught my eye. It's vibrant, it's bold, bubble bun gum pink is definitely one of those trends that we are loving for spring and summer 2021. Um, if you have not seen my spring trends video, definitely check it out because I, you know, spill the tea on all the wearable trends for this season. And this dress, the print, I love the fact that it has some mustard going through it, the bubblegum pink, a little bit of teal, so very bright, perfect for vacation. Like I said, this print comes in two dresses and it might even come in a top, but I didn't venture that way. And I, between the two dresses, I feel like this style was definitely the more flattering style for me. It has a square neck. It's more of like a midi dress with a slit. So it's giving me like slips um, dress vibes, but of course it has sleeves. And then I just, the smocking on the back means it's going to be very, very forgiving for most because especially if you're like, if you have a fuller chest, that will accommodate if you have a wider back that will also accommodate. So I love that little detail on the back. It also comes in this very 80s um, inspired style. And I, to be quite honest, it's kind of like hit or miss for me on this one. I think on some people, this style looks absolutely gorgeous, especially for my more petite girls, I would go for this style over the other because the other can like tend to drown you if you're on the more petite side. Um, it has this ruching around the waist area, which depending on your body type can be really flattering. And then of course, the little frilly situation on the bottom. So it's kind of giving me like a shortened mermaid vibe. Also giving me total 80s vibe. Let me know in the comments how you feel about, feel about this one. If you had to choose between the two, which would you choose? The shorter version or the longer version? I would love your opinion. Now this next item is going to be this polka dot um, slip skirts, you guys know how I feel about slip skirts and how I feel about polka dots. I like polka dots because I feel like they're a year round print. You can wear them in the winter, you can wear them in the spring and summer. And this is very lightweight, which means you can totally wear it, you know, with like a sneaker and all the way into summer with like a wrap sandal. Um, you can dress this up, you can dress this down. Dress this up with like a cute um, like milkmaid or sweetheart type top. You know, dress this down with a simple white t-shirt or a colored t-shirt for running 
errands on the weekend. So there's a lot of value in this and I got this in a size extra extra large. For reference, I pretty much get everything at Walmart in an extra extra large. And sometimes it runs a little bit big, but for the most part, I feel like that is my true size at Walmart. Now, <laughs> the more I go into this, the more um, wintery we're getting. So I saw these dresses. These are like sweater dresses from, I believe this is from their free assemble, assembly line. Yes, yeah, so I saw these sweater dresses from the free assembly line. Fingers crossed that they're still available. If they are, they will be linked for you down below. And I got them in this black color and in the um, uh, sort of like rusty Bordeaux color. Again, it's definitely more of a winter color palette, but we, I personally think that shirt dress, not shirt dresses, sweater dresses have been the hero of quarantine because you can wear them to work from home. You can wear them to run errands. They're super comfortable. You can grow in them. <laughs> you don't have to worry about them not being your size because they're pretty forgiving. And this was really affordable. I think it was around like under 20. It's an item that you can buy now at a great price and pull right back out next winter. Like it's a timeless piece. Um, and then if you wait till next winter, you're going to be paying like $40 for it. So save those coins, sis, save those coins. And I think for the quality, for what you're getting, for something that you wear a lot, that under 20 is a good price point. Of course, I will link everything for you down below. Now, bringing things right back into spring and summer again. I know some of you have finally started planning some warm weather vacations, you know, especially with the vaccines being rolled out. I think people are starting feeling a little bit more comfortable with, you know, traveling. And, and I saw this two piece set that I had to share with you guys. Finding supportive, swimsuits um when you're curvy can get really expensive like you pay like five times the price because it has underwire and so when i saw this i thought this was a good piece it does not have underwire but the way it is shaped and the fit i think will be pretty comfortable so um and pretty supportive so my the things i liked about it really is the fact that it has the thicker straps okay for my bustier girls and then also that it has this little double keyhole situation right here it's more of a long line again i feel like that would give you more support and of course i grabbed the matching bottoms and it has this cute little keyhole detail on the back and i tried it on it doesn't show your crack <laughs> Is that too TMI? So don't worry about it. Um, but the one thing I will say personally, I'm going to be sizing up on this. I got this in an extra, extra large. And for my comfort, I think me sizing up one may be a little bit better. Now, I always have a hard time with swimsuits. Like I always feel like the cold, the, the cutout, not the cutout, the leg opening is always like too snug for whatever reason. So... I would say get your true size and then go from there. So let me know which one of these pieces are definitely a must have for you and what your most recent find at Walmart was. I love, like, Walmart be having them gems, okay? People be sleeping on them. Sleep sleeping on them. So let me know in the comments down below um if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up especially if you want me to share more walmart finds when i am not <laughs> on the youtube streets i you can always find me on instagram definitely come join the fam i share all of my new in goodies weekly there first mm -hmm. so you don't want to miss it especially those of you who keep coming for me <laughs> when things sell out okay also if you do jump on over to instagram let me know that you've joined the fam i love chatting with you guys in them dms so i'm always there if you have any questions comments concerns <laughs>
you check out this video as well. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Oh, if you're looking for the tea on this dress or anything else that you see me wear in these videos, check the description boxes. And if I forgot, let me know in the comments.